That was the mask key switch effect and I'm going to show you how to easily do it. So you're going to need to put your camera on the tripod for this one and you're going to let it continuously record without touching it. We just want it to be consistent throughout the whole video. So what you're going to need to do is put on your first outfit. Do some posing with it and then walk towards the camera. You need to walk close to it so that it covers most of the frame or the entire thing. In this one you see that I cover most of the frame. Then after you cover up the frame, walk over to the right side or left side of the screen until you're out of the shot. And now I'll do the exact same thing for the next shot. I kept the camera running, I then switched out my jersey, and then did the exact same thing, walked towards the camera, and then moved over to the side. And as you can see here, I tried to cover the frame as much as I can to set up the next shot. And also this time around, I went over to the left side. In that transition video that I showed you at the beginning of the video, I did four outfit changes. You can do as many as you want for your video. It doesn't really matter how many you do, so I'll leave that up to you. But all you need to do is repeat the steps that I just showed you without turning off the camera. Okay, so now in post this will be really super easy to edit first thing that you're going to do is add the first clip that we shot so i'll work with the clip here with the white socks jersey on right where i'm about to leave the frame i'm going to cut it off with the blade tool i'm then going to drag the draw mask tool from the fx tab onto the clip that we just cut off i'm going to add some feathering to this mask and then add a keyframe i'll also add a keyframe to transform and control points after that, I'll go frame by frame by pressing the right arrow key on the keyboard and then moving the key points around to follow me as I move out of the frame. Now you'll see that it's just a plain black background underneath it. You'll need to add the next clip right below it. So you're going to need to try to align it so that it shows the part where you're fixing up your jersey and about to walk towards the camera. So it should look something like this. And now what you're gonna do is continue the process as many times as you want, depending on how many outfit changes you have. We just need to repeat the steps again by adding the draw mask tool, placing the key points, moving it to follow your subject, and then placing the next clip below it. And a key tip here for you guys, make sure that your background is static and that nothing is moving behind you. Here you see that mine changes a little bit since I was doing this at the MLB store and there were customers coming in and out of the store. There were people looking around, shopping around and moving some of the clothes. So some of the shots might might not look as good as I wanted it to. Hope you had fun with this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and watch this fast-paced baseball video here if you want to see another cool fun effect.